all right then guys what is going on we are on the second episode of the fallout series uh, but fallout tv series now one of the things that i forgot to do last time i had uh, a video it was you know throw in my channel and stuff hey i am on instagram youtube neric chase go check out the channel there's some really good content on it uh, also, check out nerdchase.com. There's a lot of great content on the website. There's a lot of good things that's coming uh, as, as far as my book that I'm getting ready to publish in two months. Really, really proud of that. Hope y'all guys stay tuned to read it and really enjoy that. A lot of great top tens and a, really, a lot of really good content on the website. Now, really enjoyed the first episode of Fallout and we are going on to Fallout 2. Uh, well, Fallout episode 2. So, without further ado, we are getting into it. Now, where we left off the last episode, Lucy left the vault to go find her father. Maximus was uh, has been promoted to a, a scribe, a scribe for the Brotherhood of Steel. This is adorable dogs, and they put the dog in the incinerator. Wow, that is cold blooded. That is cold blooded. Dang. Uh, oh, and also the ghoul is um has been freed and he is doing his thing. Alright, so alright. I assume that's dog meat. Okay. For those who don't know who dog meat is, dog meat is the ultimate companion. He's featured in, I think, every game. Or a variant of dog meat is featured in every game. One of the best companions to have in the game. Up oh, there's that guy from that show, Evil. And this is supposed to be the Enclave, correct? Uh-oh. Laser rifle. <laughs> Uh-oh. Little Easter egg of a, a super mutant. Cool. I was hoping to see some sign of super mutants. For those who don't know, super mutants are enemies in the Fallout, uh, our race of super, well, mutated humans in the Fallout lore uh, who have contracted the FEV, which is the forced evolutionary virus, and they turn into these big brutes. One of the coolest enemies, in my opinion, and I would like for this in the next game to dive a bit more into like maybe factions, uh, make them a more credible threat, like a group, like in Fallout Two, or is it Fallout One? I see the Fall. I think Fallout One, the super mutants are part of this called the Unity, and that's like their faction under the Master, which I would like to see. Uh, like remnants of that, like an actual super, like you know, we got the enclave for the humans, the brother of the steel. I would like to see another mutant faction too, super mutant faction. I just like the scientific stuff. It just looks, it just feels so Fallout. It doesn't feel out the realm of Fallout. It really don't. What was that he put himself? Ooh. He stuck himself in the back of the head. Lord have mercy. Oh no. That would have hurt like hell. I'm thinking that was a tracker. Oh, maybe that's something that'll bond them. Like if he need that, like he can read. Like if he needs help, the dog will help him. He can kind of read his mind a little bit. Now I'm assuming this is dog meat because dog meat, quite frankly, is the only dog in gaming history that actually really matters. Or at least in the Fallout.
Is that did he use that to control him or is that for tracking? Oh snaps. Get him. Get him. Ate him up. Crunch. <laughs> A dog don't play. That dog ain't stupid. So this is the guy that's a part of the Enclave. And like I said, I'm glad to see more about the Enclave. I think they are an interesting group. <laughs> Got a turret. <laughs> I remember fighting the hell out of them things. Them turrets or something serious. Fallout. Oh, I like the fact that the intro uh, logo, title screen, cha seemingly changes every episode. Okay, well, we're back to Lucy. And the music. The musical choices are just excellent. It feels like definitely something from a Fallout game. I like, I like the way I do like the way the look of things. And I, I just can't get over the the, the the vault uniforms. I thought they would look but okay, back in the day when you had like video game adaptate uh, adaptations or comic book adaptations, the outfits just look ridiculous because of how bright they are. And the brightness and cleanliness of the suits actually make them less look less cool that make them look less realistic but it looks more realistic like looking at the vault suits she doesn't look like a superhero she look oh look at that she backed up because she don't know what a tumbleweed is that's like that's pretty cool i like the look of things it's so decrepit and old and busted uh, an assault tron. This is definitely taking a lot of inspiration from Fallout 4. In, in fact, <laughs> watching this series makes me want to get back into it. Fallout 4 is just epic in terms of scope, scale, content, and it's just a lively world with so much to do. And even when you think you found everything, there's more to be found. And be honest, I wish they would have added a lot more DLC and updates to that game. Okay, Lucy. And I don't know who to... Oh, we got the skeletons. That's one of the things about the games as well. You feel so... It's, it's such an interesting world, but it's such a world built from tragedy. Especially like in the scene like this, Lucy is in the house and she sees seemingly... A mother with, ba with babies. And I do not. Oh, did they drink that? Did she? I guess. Did she kill him? Oh, yeah, that's cold. Dang. So the mom. I, now, look, I don't know if they died because of the blast or that looked like the mom poisoned them. Good God. But like I said, it just reminds me that that much as the games are just awesome, this is a built from a world of tragedy. Millions, if not billions, of people have lost their lives. The world has went to hell. Radiation leaks, and it's just absolutely crazy. Mutants, monsters, people pillaging and killing and doing all type of crazy stuff. But the chaos, just something about the chaos of the Fallout games, it just makes it so freaking epic. Such an enjoyable ride, the thrill, the challenge. It definitely got me wanting to play the game. So, I, I like that we get to see Lucy exploring and kind of learning more about the world outside of the vault. Uh-oh. 
a low growl. I'm thinking it's going to be a, a dog, yeah. Is that dog meat? Oh, a red roach. Oh, that's cool. Okay, the she then bumped into the institute guy. That is, that will be kind of creepy. Yeah, they saved her. The roaches would ate up. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. She got the warning. I would have liked to see maybe the roach attacking her, the red roach attacking her, then uh, dog meat or the dog uh, saving her. That would be pretty cool. This is really cool. You know, one another thing I'm interested in seeing from this ser this TV series is are they going to introduce new mutant creatures? Now, each game predominantly does feature a lot of the same creatures: super mutants, death claws, uh, mole rats, rad roaches, mylurks. Uh, they typically do have all of those, especially the death claws, mole rats and super mutants but i'd be, it'd be interesting but they each one does introduce new creatures so i'm interested they're gonna man and they're just uh okay we following maximus i just love the way the helicopter looks it looks old it looks retrofitted actually i would not be surprised if that somebody actually built one of these things and it works And uh, the just the Brotherhood of Steel suit, the power armor just looks freaking sweet. I do like how their the Brotherhood is more like a futuristic version of like the Knights. He kind of comes off as a, a kind of a dick. What is that? A nut cup? Okay. Um, he just popped it on now. I don't know what that was. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. 
that's kind of cool. Okay, I like that. I thought he was going to jump. Not when I play in Fallout 4, I would straight up jump off of buildings. I would straight just jump. I know I wouldn't die wearing power armor. It's so empowered. That's a big old bag. What do they put in the bag? People? That's a big old bag. Did I not notice that in the game? You know, I want to go back and play and, and play Fallout Four again. See if they if that's actually in the bag. Now I'm kind of interested because of the back and forth throughout the episodes. Each I kind of feel like I think the episodes would have been fit better if they were maybe episode a piece. And I hope that does not uh, mess up with the pacing. Okay, so it looks like Maximus and uh, Titus are going to meet up with the Enclave guy and Lucy. Ooh, I'm interested. There's a cave. There's always something crazy in the cave in the games. Uh, what is it going to be? Is that a hand? Oh, Lord, he brought out a human hand. Nah, I... I I can't. St I can't say. I, I, this can't be a death clause. It'd be too early. It'd be so cool if it was. Ooh. It'd be so cool if that was a death clause. I don't think it's. it's that that death clause be something that's too early. What other creature would it be? Would it be a yagua? So yeah, it looks like Titus is gonna meet up with uh, Brotherhood of Steel dude, uh, uh, with uh, the Enclave dude. Dang, what is that gun that he's got? I I remember in Fallout Four, I used that gun a lot. Ooh. Yeah, they done walked into something now. The dog walked in there and brought out a hand. So you got Lord Titus and Jonathan Majors uh, Jr. Oh, they gave him a gun. Okay, that's good. Radiation. <laughs> Titus guy's a douche. His light done flashlight done went out. <laughs> I mean, it kind of makes sense to draw out the enemy because he's got the firepower and he will be quicker. Oh, Lord. Train coming. Train coming. Train coming. Oh, snaps. Oh, snaps. We are back. Uh-oh. It's a Yagway. Cool. It looks really cool. <laughs> he fight the Yagwe. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> he took off. Did he just knock himself out? 
Did he knock himself out? The the Yagway looks pretty cool. Why is he not shooting it? Wow. Okay. Why did he wait to shoot? He could have just shot it. Okay. Wow. Well, at least the power armor actually. Can't. Okay, the power armor actually got a little physical bit to it. I mean, Yagway was uh, was beating him up. Wait. <laughs> is that who I think it is? <laughs> Okay. He has snapped. What is he doing? Wow, really? He is such a dick. Good God. What the? He? Okay. Now, I don't want to get into the woke stuff. I do not want to get into the woke stuff. There has some been some stuff here, but it's literally this white dude who is just talking shit to this. If you want to go with the whole uh, black, you know, talking down on this black dude or mixed dude, I don't know, but. This is crazy. I don't know if they're just trying to make it seem like he's just a dick because he's... I don't know if the writers are trying to do the thing where they try to say, okay, the white dude is the bad guy and everybody else is good guys. Because he's just cussing this dude out. Wow. This man is just being such a dick. That's crazy. Nah. Wow. I wonder if he gonna take the armor. Cause that dude was a dick. I would have let him die too. You can't be talking that crap to me like that and expect me to help you. No, that's that's not cool. All right, we done. I mean, it's kind of telling regarding it's kind of telling because because Maximus is a I don't know what to think about Maximus because he kind of comes off as like this honorable guy but at the same time he does seem like he one of them dudes is like he'll do some shady stuff like you gotta get him a side eye But hey, if he let that dude die, I would not blame him. That dude left him to die. He was incompetent uh, himself. Mm -mm -mm. 
<laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, she about to learn the hard way. That's one thing I like about her character. Uh, she's got to learn. She's a fish out of water at this point. Dang, that's cold blooded. <laughs> She's got to learn. She's going to learn how. You got to go hard. Got to go hard to go home. I See, I think her story to me is the most compelling. And then probably after that, Maximus. And probably after that, the ghoul. But we haven't really got much into the ghoul. So I can't really. Uh, I'm interested in the. Uh, I'm assuming that his story is going to be going back and forth, past, present. So I'm interested in that aspect. And I do not know who the woman is that got to play Lucy. Uh, she's, uh, she. I don't. I don't mind her. The acting. I really don't mind her. Wow. <laughs> People are nuts. <laughs> Man, nuts. He done lost his marbles. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, he getting in the suit. Maximus is getting in the suit. That is what's up. I still don't know if he did that to his friend to become a brotherhood. Uh, but Oh, he done finally look at him. Y'all happy now. He done got what he wanted. It moves like I'm. I like it. It moves like how I think it will move. Okay. I mean, the dude was jabbing that bear. I kind of feel like if he was more competent, he could have actually uh, beat it down. Oh, you got a man? What's going on? Who is that? Oh, he done walked into something. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah. 
He's he's okay. He seems like a, a, a character I'll be interested in. He gonna have to learn too. He took off running. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Wow. That's one thing about Fallout. You're going to find some crazy folks. This man his, said his chickens. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. I do like that, it's, that everything's pretty diverse. I will say the settings are pretty diverse. You go from what is seemingly a wasteland to a forest. To ruins and it, again it ultimately does feel like fallout I like I like that I like that it shows some areas were affected more by the radiation and blast than others that again it just feeds into just how the, the, the depth of the world the world building looks really good What happened to that dude head? The little scene right here kind of reminds me of the first time after you get out of the vault in Fallout 3 where you go into Megaton. Okay. okay. Just the, the iguana. Just, just, just the Easter eggs are on point. But the more I see this girl, she just just look just appeals more and more to me. She look cool. Remember going down those pipes, fighting my lurks and feral ghouls and stuff. And just the city looks really, really cool, built up out of scrap, junk, debris. That's what I'm talking about. Look, it's got the Nuka Cola sign right there. Like I was say, Atomic. Look, I, I would say this: they spare no expense in making this feel like the Fallout universe. And is that the ghoul? Yeah, that's him. Oh, I thought that was Piper. <laughs> I thought that was seriously Piper. That's a big dude. Uh oh, two headed Brahmin. That's what I'm talking about. Is that a pit boy? Yeah, looks like a pit. Is that an old pit boy? He just looks really, really cool. Walter Goggins. He's he just looks really cool. A little bobblehead. I just the look. I'm just loving the Easter egg so far. They had a bunch of pit boys. Uh, assortment of Volt Tech equipment. Yes, you do. I'm trying to say. I'm trying to absorb this to see what else they got up in this. I, okay, that like looks familiar. I, ooh, that woman looked like ugh.
<laughs> That's funny. Wow, that's funny. Who is that? Wow. She shut that laughing up quick. She looked like somebody that'd be in a Fallout game. I think that's kind of cool where you have kind of this uh, distinction for the people that stay in the vaults versus the people that are on surface. I kind of like that. That's an interesting tidbit to add into it. Maybe perhaps dive into more prejudices of it because I would think the people in the vault be prejudiced against the people on the surface and the people on the surface would be not really... You yeah, would be prejudiced. I would say be more resentful of the people in the vaults. Hmm? I can, I can, I, yeah, yeah. I would think that too. That's cold blooded. And I kind of like the fact that she's kind of got this indoctrination thing going. Like, when you're in a vault, it's all about the vault. And she's like, I like this dialogue right now. I kind of like that. Again, it's kind of, she's learning more about the world. Uh, that's, like I said, that story really compelling. Probably the best. She has really big eyes. Oh, he took off. The Yagwe bear, I thought, looked really, really cool. Now, when I jump on Fallout 4 and I say Yagwe bear, I will attempt to be, uh, beat it with my fist. Uh oh, they're bumping into each other again. I'm interested. Is that dog meat? I don't want to assume that's dog meat. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, you know what? Just out of the mask. That's pretty cool. Meritocracy. Cool. Uh-oh, my boy. Joggins done popped on the scene. It's about to go down. He just looks so cool. I just wish they could have, you know, messed him up just a little bit more with the makeup. I mean, he does look really cool. Looks really good. I wish they could have just made him look a little bit, not uglier, but... I mean, he looks cool. It really does. The cowboy look.
Mm-mm-mm. Cool. So he about that life. Dang. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Blew his foot off. Cool fight scene. Uh oh. There have been plenty of times I done played the game and got into a firefight with a city full of people. I wonder if they got that juice, if they gonna put it on him. Yeah, he looked like crap. I wish he would have made, made I wish the makeup was just a little bit made him look more like Freddy Krueger did off of the remake. What kind of gun is that? Dang. God. Oh. <laughs> He must be, this must be Stephen King. He gotta be a gunslinger. <laughs> oh, he, he's the resident, he's the resident badass. But those tomatoes are grapes. He is brutal. Straight up. Wait, he's a ghoul, so he can take a couple of... Oh, okay. So the ghoul kind of work play out like a zombie. Oh, here's a cherry tomato. So, okay. So he got shot, so they kind of playing as ghouls kind of like zombies. Not bad. I, wouldn't mind. I don't mind that. That's a good idea. Dang. Dang. <laughs> he ain't playing. Try her to, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Blew his whole foot off. Gosh. Ah, oh, man. He killed the dog. He is brutal. I right, got another bobblehead. I'm not sure which one it is, though. Is that strength? No, that ain't strength. Is that a junk jet? Look at the ways the the laser rifles. Dang, killed the dog. He don't play. The ghoul does not play.
<laughs> I love the way you look at her. <laughs> uh oh, Maximus has stepped on the scene. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I thought the Jets came out the back, though. Okay, so all three of the major players. I don't understand why he tackled her through a building. That probably would have killed her. I thought he was just going to, you know, slide in front of her. He's, uh, okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> he fumbled the gun. <laughs> he knocked him into the staircase. <laughs> Wait, is that a chick? Okay. Dang, his leg is... I don't tell her she done fell in love with this dude. <laughs> this is so freaking funny. What is that? Ooh. Oh my God. What is that? Oh, that's a prosthetic. <laughs> she still <steals> dads. <laughs> I 
Wow. Okay. Again, the Pip Boy plays such an important role in this show. I like that. I don't think it's it is it shows it that much in a it, that much in the game. Come on, I want to see kind. I want to see more of the fight. Dang. I want to see him get slung through a building. Yep. I <laughs> got slung through a building. <laughs> I mean, it was through a stand, but. His foot got stuck. Ah, uh, snaps. <laughs> wow. Get hit by one of those, it's knock you out. I like that he hasn't mastered it. That he is struggling with it. That's a dude that be hitting on people chickens. Came down hard. Dang, that's crazy. My boy, the ghoul, like he, he, he brutal. He is brutal. What if you had a character like that that you can that like, that hunts you down throughout the entire game? Hell, I thought uh. What was the guy from Fallout 4? Kellogg? I would have liked his been like that. He constantly hunts you. You got to get away from him. I think that'd be pretty cool. Too bad you only see this dude like one time. He did stab his dog. Gonna heal him. Had a dog track him now. Okay, not a bad idea. Getting them stim, man. Them stim pack. I want to see what the stim pack actually does. Like, does it actually like like boost up the healing? Like, I want to actually. I mean, uh, the dog up. But I want to see the wound. Did the wound go away? Dang, I would, I would like to get more clarification on what, like in the game, of course it heals you, but if you got stabbed like that with it, like I'm interested. Does the dog still got the wound? He just can't, can't feel it? Does it slowly heal it up? Does it immediately heal it up? That kind of reminds me of, what is this? Philly kind of looks like, a, kind of reminds me of Diamond City a little bit from Fallout 4. And that 
That ain't Boston, is it? No, that ain't Boston. CCP. I don't know what that is. That's a satellite. That's that is. I kind of like that little tidbits. He got his foot blown off. That is cold blooded. They're back out there in the waste. Back in the desert. I really, I hope he has, I want to know what his storyline is. Uh, he was really, he's got, I don't want to say he was responsible for building the vaults, but he's got to know something about the vaults because he knew so much in-depth information about where she was from. Now, I don't know if that's, a lot of the, what he had said was specific to that specific vault. He is, ugh. He is, ugh, that foot is messed, that leg messed up. Like I said, I do like her character. I do like her character. And I do like how they keep referring to it as the wasteland. and killed himself. His blood. Wow. Okay, never mind. Is that a shish kebab? Wow, that is crazy. Okay, no, she is. Her dad and that dude used to work together. Yep. It's got to be her, her dad. Because that's why the lady stole the dad. The dad knows something. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of like in Fallout 3. You know, you think your dad... You know, your dad's been in that vault the whole time, and then you find out he's part of this bigger thing that's happened outside of the vault. Okay, I see where they're going with that. I can get with it. They got a donut shop. And that music feels like Fallout. That is a crazy choice. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. That is episode, uh, that's end of episode two. We got a little bit more action. We got to see some of our favorite characters uh, do more. We got to see a Yagwe look really, really cool. Brutal fight between him and the Brother of the Steel Man. Still think if he'd have stuck it in there, he probably could have killed that thing or at least fended it uh, off. 
pretty cool fight between uh, Maximus and the Ghoul. Just ultimately, I actually like this episode. Uh, seeing the characters interact for the first time as well as them having to uh, adapt to the situation you see Lucy's learning more about the world Maximus is actually trying to come into his own and the ghoul is just straight up brutal <laughs> he by, has to be my favorite character dude is the beast but we're learning more and I think that's a good way to go so uh, I'm enjoying it I think it was good and I hope to see more in episode 3 I, you know, we saw a bit more of who I assume to be the Enclave, uh, which, in fact, it can't be the uh, assume because I believe they they did mention that in the first episode. The Brotherhood did mention that uh, this man escaped from the Enclave or was an Enclave a member. So, okay, I can't wait to see episode three. Uh, so, stay tuned, guys. Uh, hope you join me for episode three and get more of my commentary. The Fallout show so far has yet to uh, disappoint. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to check out the channel and the content that we have going on. And we'll see you next time.